Hi, George here. We're going to take this image and remove this out of focus person in the background. I would do that using the clone stamp tool. It's a pretty straightforward process. Start up here with the background layer, right click, and just to have a safety, choose duplicate. There we go, and I'll hide the original one. So that's my safety, and we'll work on this layer here. So we'll start off by zooming in a lot closer in here. Here we go, hold the spacebar down to move things around, and then I'll grab the clone stamp tool. You can see there's the size. Across the top here, opacity 100%, that's fine. Flow 100%, that's fine. Hardness at zero, I like that's a soft edge. Everything else at the defaults. Now if you use the left square bracket, it makes the brush size smaller. The right square bracket makes the brush size larger. We'll go about that big. Let's make sure we're on a layer. There we go. And then hold the Alt key down and choose a from spot like that. And you can then clone in from that spot. Notice how the clone from spot moves in relationship to the clone tool here, the clone brush. So it always stays nice and lined up. That makes it very, very easy to do this. Now, whenever I'm doing anything like this, I tend to want to save a lot. So I'll use the Control S keyboard shortcut. And we'll do a save as. And I'll save it right here into my working folder and save. There we go. Not a bad idea to be doing frequent saves as you're going. Now, the trick in here to a good clone stamp is to find things that you can copy, like this dark tree up here, and pull that into the part you're trying to clone away or get rid of. I also like working from both sides, over here a bit, then over here a bit, kind of work towards the middle. So we'll go up here to this tree, Alt and click, and I'll pull that down. You can see there it is. And I'll bring that down. That gives a visual clue. So it looks like it's actually copying or actually matching the background. And I'll do that just a few times and work that in. Now the base of this tree is about here. So base of that tree should be close to that. Let's copy this base over here and I'll bring that right in here and get into some of that dirt underneath. Looks pretty good. Let's now move over here. See there's kind of a line right here. I'm going to copy that line. Alt and click, pull that over, and then I'll paste in from that point. There we go. Whenever you have a reference like that, a line or something, try to copy that in, and it makes a more convincing clone. Again, Control S just to keep on saving as we go here. And spacebar and push, and right here, Alt and click. I'll do just a little bit of that, but not much, just a touch. And over here, Alt and click. And I'll bring some of this in. Notice how it's going in and beginning to grab the figure again in there. So you may want to go back and forth just a bit. And that's really it. Just a matter of cloning from one spot and copying into another spot and just doing several moves on your brush to help match everything. Because the background is changing, so you want to be moving the brush around to match that change. And try to make it look as natural as possible. I'll come back and do a little cleanup step after this step and do a little bit more clone snap to clean up anything that looks kind of funny or odd. Okay, Control S to save again and space and move. You get some of this darker stuff right in here. And it's going pretty well, as you can see. We're working along nicely in here. I can go pretty fast right down through here. And then down around the foot, and I think that is taken care of. Or to this side, Alt key and click, and let's just match that in. There we go. And back up this side. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to back out now just a bit. Grab the zoom tool. Let's just zoom back out and see how that looks. I think that actually looks pretty good. Right there. I don't like these three dots showing up. That looks like it's a repeating pattern. Let's fix that. Clone stamp tool again. And first control S to save that. And I'll come in here and do a little bit of something right in here. And a little bit of something different over in here. Just to break things up a bit so it's not too much of a matching area. Sometimes some different colors in here can help. This kind of breaks up the area. It doesn't look as intentional. It looks more random. That's what you want to have. I think I'm going to pull the tree down just a bit in through here. A little more of a tree edge like that. And a bit more of that right in here. So part of this is just artistic. 
and making things just a little bit more random to give it more of a natural look. Just a bit of stuff just kind of tossed in there as we go. And that then is a real nice, very natural look in the background. Now, if I go back to you fit on screen, which is control zero, and I think that's really good. I don't think anybody's going to be thinking that there's anybody in here and we've successfully removed that out of focus person from the background and left just the in focus person again. One more little touch up, I think, right up in here. Alt key down. I'm going to pull this tree down just a bit further than the other ones. It just seems like it wants to be a bit further down. And there we go. That's how to use the clone stamp tool to remove somebody from the background in a photo using Affinity Photo. Now, my videos are 100% fan supported. If you want to help support my channel, consider purchasing my complete training for Affinity Photo. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Or you can also support me on Patreon. There's a link for that in the description as well. And I'll see you next time.